Hi and welcome to Mike Dunn Reviews. I am Mike Dunn and today is going to be a February roundup edition uh, seeing as I haven't got time to go through individually the films that have been released this month. I'm going to be doing Muppets and Wo uh, Woman in Black uh, on their own just because I think they're the best ones that have been released but these ones are just going to be a short snippet of what I actually thought about them. Um, today I'm going to be talking about The Vow, Star Wars Episode 1 in 3D, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance in 3D, Safe House and One for the Money. So first off with uh, The Vow, start with a good one. Um, surprised by The Vow, didn't expect much, but I uh, was actually interested and intrigued by the uh, premise about a woman who uh, loses five years of her memory after she gets hit by a car and goes into a coma. Wakes up, doesn't remember her husband, doesn't remember the last five years of them, and uh, the husband has to try and uh, win her back, pretty much. Um, interesting story. It's a bit of disappointment how it was told. Rachel McAdams and Jan Channing Tatum didn't really draw me in, wasn't really interested in their performances. I w thought it would have been better with someone else. But still, very good for a nice romantic evening if you wanted to watch it. Star Wars Episode One. if I had an entire review of this, it'd just be seven minutes of me ranting about George Lucas and his wanting greed for money and the fact that it doesn't need to be in 3D at all. Don't bother. Fair enough if you want to start with episode 4, 5 and 6, introduce the younger generations to it on a bigger screen, that's fantastic, but don't start with episode 1, 2 and 3, where you just actually find out that Anakin grows into Darth Vader and there's no big I am your father <gasps> twist, so pointless. Ghost Rider 2, uh, Spirit of Vengeance, sorry. Um, no need for it being in 3D as well. Nicolas Cage does his thing where he just doesn't give a crap about acting talent or quality and like his earlier films when he actually gave a crap and actually won an oscar in this one he's just oh yeah i'm the ghost runner oh, you, don't you think i know that oh it's just ah get off my screen safe house um ryan reynolds plays a safe house guardian who uh, protects like hostages and people who have like given themselves over to the government. Denzel Washington plays the latest prisoner who um, people try and kidnap in the safe house. So uh, Ryan has to take him out into South Africa to try and like take him to another safe house. Along the way, Denzel tries to play a bit of mind games with him, gets loose. There's a b whole lot of running, jumping, shooting, shouting. I expected more of the character development between the two, and I thought there was just a bit too much of the running, jumping, shouting, screaming non-acting on Ryan Reynolds' part. Yeah, big disappointment. Wanted more. Wanted more from Denzel, pr pretty much, but at least he's not on a train this time. One for the money. Catherine Heigl plays a bounty hunter in the role reversal of the bounty hunter with Gerald Butler and Jennifer Aniston, where, yeah, a guy goes after the ex-girlfriend. It's now a girl going after the ex-boyfriend to try and get the money, and then after that happens and she finds him, there's a whole lot of subplot about him being framed for something that a, a devious um, boxer is like killing and raping women and stuff and it's supposed to be a comedy and it's ver it's held in very like oh oh you think you're doing that ah oh, don't be wor don't be ridiculous <laughs> oh no wait there's the girl that's been raped yeah anyway back to the comic relief <laughs> oh yeah oh there she goes yeah she's just been hit yeah oh that body's in a barrel yeah or you better have Catherine Heigl appearing naked in a shower and just calling her ex-boyfriend by her last name. And that's... I did not know what, how to handle that film. It was... Uh, oh, just that film just confused me and disgusted me. And that film does not deserve to be watched by anyone. So, in short, <laughs> The Vow, quite good. Star Wars, Ghost Rider, One for the Money, Stay Away, Safe House. Eh, okay, it's entertaining if you just want to watch something and just be not shocked by a twist that you saw coming a mile off okay and that's the rest of february i've still got best exotic marigold hotel to watch and still um muppets and woman in black to review but that will come shortly thank you very much uh for <laughs> sticking with me through that all and i'll see you soon okay bye bye